all right to generate this provider what we'll do is to generate it we can manually create it but we can generate it from here by saying um, ionic generate provider then we'll call our provider anything we want I want to call this user service hit enter then you wait a few seconds yes uh, as it has been generated our user service mine took about 120 seconds which is about two minutes so um, don't worry if yours is taking longer so this is it as you can see it has generated this folder for us so if we open this folder we'll see that there's another folder and then there is a file called user service this folder if let me minimize everything so you see where it is it's inside SRC it's the providers folder was generated and inside the providers folder there's a provide a user service folder and a user service file so this is the user service file as you can still still as you can see still empty so our control V uh, that is our pasted firebase I've imported firebase because we'll be needing it seriously then we'll have to start making use of the function creating the functions we need if we go back to our login page we'll see that inside user service we are uh, we have a function called login that is accepting two um, variables or two parameters so what we'll do is to create that function so we call that long a uh, function login user so what we'll do is to come to our user service file outside the constructor we will paste this so we now have login user function that accepts an email as a string in in TypeScript this is what you use to depict string then it accepts password as a string too and then it does it makes a call to Firebase and this is a function in Firebase that will process this and give us a result so this is return this file out but as you can see we've not declared this variable so we're supposed to declare it we've imported Firebase we're supposed to declare it here so I will um, delete this and then we'll um, declare this but let us declare all the variables that we need these are the variables that we need we have data we have file auth we have user profile we'll be needing them so we'll declare them above the constructor so inside here we can now make use of them and assign values to them so the main one we need for now is public file auth and then we, I just called it file auth this is just variable declaration you can call yours anything and then this is the type I'm just giving it type any of course it can be type string or whatever so um, so we have this so I've just said I'm assigning a value to this file all that I, I, I declared as you can see I'm making a call to firebase and there's a function in firebase called auth that function is just telling you that um, it's making reference to the authentication in firebase okay so inside that function as you can see fire auth inside the auth function there's another function in firebase called sign in with email and password as you can see it takes two parameters which is which are email and password and then we are passing out those parameters from here so if we go back to our login page from our login page we we access that file and access the login user function and we're passing in email or passing in password into that function so from here this is the file and this is the function login user it's receiving the email and receiving a password so we pass those email and password to a special function in firebase for email and password that function will check in the firebase database whether the email and password exists if it does it will give us a reply so we are returning so from the login function we can now receive the reply so if the reply was successful this code here will execute the then the code here will execute but if it wasn't successful then the code here the error code will execute we should pr simply throw an error for us and uh, the error will last three seconds that's the toast controller so i hope you get it now so but one thing is still remaining because we've not actually imported this file we just created this user service file but we've not imported it into our login file so let us import it into our login file so we're trying to import these providers from this login we're inside this login.ts file we are trying to import this file so this is the code we will use to import it so remember that here the name of the class is user service let us check the name of the class must be exactly user service provider okay so let us copy it and make sure that we have the exact name 
user service provider and then it's located in this location providers then we have users there is no space in between so user service and the ts file that is user service as you can see we're pointing to providers folder that we have here the user service folder and then the user service file now we've made the reference we have to import it as a provider so we say providers then we start listing all our providers for now this is just one provider that we have so i'll copy it and paste it here all right so we now have to import it here in the constructor so let us say public i will call it user service i'm declaring a variable now so i just want to call it the same name so that um, it won't confuse me service and it's of the type the user service provider all right so this is the name that we now used here is the same name the variable so after importing it here you can now use the variable here all right so from this variable it now points to that file and points to the login function in that file that processes it for us i hope the whole thing now makes sense to you like i said the code to this is on on the on my github page so you can take it and sit down and look through it all right so right now just before we round up this video i think everything is working well now let's now test I want you to remember that we've not actually signed up a user so this test will fail but let us just see whether it works out uh, the way we planned it to work out all right so the the page is refreshing once it's refreshed um there's no provider for http oh we have to also create a provider for http all right so there are two quick fixes to this oh let's see it in the next video